update on the GT40. We powder coated some parts, all those control arms. We did uh, the bottom coating, wheel wells, in like a rhino liner, basically a Raptor liner. And now we're trying to figure out how to mount these fuel tanks. I'm gonna put some type of rubber in the bottom for cushion, nothing real soft, something pretty firm, but now you've got to somehow mount a way to secure them down. And I'm trying to figure out what the best possible way to secure these down is. I'm just sitting in here and just trying to get some ideas. But you can see the fuel tanks mounting these pontoons. If anyone has some ideas on how to mount fuel tanks in those pontoons, comment below. Today in GT40 land, we Raptor lined where the engine mounts are going to end up going. We installed all the powder coated uh, control arms and other parts that we had done this weekend and last weekend. I started putting the rear suspension back on. I'm having a little bit of difficulty getting one area to match up. I got to figure out the sequence in which I do it or if I need to compress that spring somehow. I ended up Raptor lining the gas tanks, bottom of the gas tank. I'm hoping that'll be enough with a bracket to just give them a little bit of, I don't know, something to, to cushion a little bit and so they don't just rub through. I'm hoping that does the trick or if I still need to put some type of rubber mount in there. So that's what we did this weekend on the GT40 project by Race Car Replicas. Suspension, powder coat, some more Raptor liner. That's it. We mounted the gas tanks tonight. We, a uh, buddy of mine welded on these brackets for me. And then what we did is, or I did is I just uh, mounted them direct to the bottom with some button head bolts. You can see the ones are way back there as well. That one isn't snugged up yet. But it gave me uh, both fuel tanks mounted in the pontoons, nice and uh, sturdy mount. They got the rhino liner on the bottom. I don't even think we would have needed it. So we're all set.